Firstly, we will introduce the background of this paper. Through the agent's action travels over training time, RL can learn the optimal policy from a lot of trajectories. Due to such unique features, RL has been regarded as a kind of autonomous learning, greatly advancing the development of AI into grounded applications, especially in autonomous systems or some gaming tasks, such as standout Boston Dynamics robots and AlphaGo Zero system um, that we have investigated. As a critical hyperparameter, reward function indicates a measure on the agent's action performance at each state, so as to guide the agent to learn the optimal policy for achieving the maximum expected sum of rewards. Taking a sample boat racing game, for example, the intended goal is to finish the race. The reward function can be simply designed as class 1 reward for finishing under a given time and zero reward otherwise. The reward function also provides reward that gives points to let the gamer finish the rest faster. Unfortunately, the shift rewards can lead to behaviors that do not match what the researcher wants. More specifically, Roughly specified reward functions do not work well in many tasks, such as inverted helicopter flight and socially adaptive pl pass planning. Thus, good reward functions have highly commercial values for individual or distributed reinforcement learning, which need fine per designs based on the expert knowledge and practical testing. However, existing inverse reinforcement learning provides an opportunity to approximate reward functions just by collected as per trajectories. More specifically, once given a set of as per trajectories, inverse reinforcement learning can learn a model to approximate reward function with a goal function to make these trajectories optimal. This makes the inverse reinforcement learning a double-edged sword, which means that in addition to reinforcement learning improvement, it can also be utilized to obtain approximated reward function for attacking reinforcement learning model. Recently, with the trend of online open AI, such street of reinforcement learning reward function attacking through re inverse reinforcement learning has become an emerging issue. For example, Facebook has already published RL expert trajectories on GitHub, encouraging researchers and engineers to participate in downloading, retraining, and submitting their new model to Facebook, again for both sides benefits. In the real reinforcement learning process, how to perform adversary attacking on inverse reinforcement learning for protecting reward functions has become the key issue. The existing efforts to protect reinforcement learning reward function from the perspective of inverse reinforcement learning area are to decrease the enforcement reinforcement learning performance by injecting adversary trajectories distinguished as expert ones. Two commonly used adversary trajectories are suboptimal and invert ones. Suboptimal trajectories are randomly drawn from the suboptimal stochastic policy, which have an uncontrollable effect. Well, invert ones are formed based on rewards that are exactly opposite of the ground truth, which may cause disasters and easily recognized by adversaries. However, under a realistic scenario, considering the actual reinforcement learning cost, 
Generated adverse trajectories should be minimum and non-catastrophic for ensuring normal reinforcement learning performance. Taking the reinforcement learning based UAV for disaster relief as an example, this figure shows that the publication of adverse trajectories should be limited for ensuring timely disaster relief. Meanwhile, they have to avoid causing serious collision accidents. This gives rise to one fundamental question: how to protect RL reward functions with minimum and non-catastrophic adversary trajectories. Um, this is the contributions of this paper. Uh, in this work, to address the above question, we make the first attempt to process a novel approach to craft adversary trajectories, which enables to decrease inverse reinforcement learning performance and to realize the anti-IRL ability. Firstly, we design a reward clustering-based metric NMI for more accurate inverse reinforcement learning performance assessing, which integrates both advantages of EVD and MRL. Further, based on NMI, we explore the adversary attack based on AGNES clustering to determine targeted state for reward perception. Then, we imply an intrinsic fear model to predict the probability of a state encountering a catastrophic state within center steps, supporting to generate non-catastrophic adversary trajectories. Then is the method proposed in this paper. Two metrics are commonly used to assess the IRL performance. Um, which are mean reward loss and expected value difference. The first one, MRL, focuses on direct assessment of the mean reward loss in whole state space of application, which can be regarded as a plan granularity. And the second one focuses on the expected value of trajectories, which can be regarded as a line granularity. However, as this finger shows, MRL and EVD may give opposite indications. Then, which metric should be trusted? To solve this question, we design a reward clustering-based metric to integrate integrate both advantages of fine and cross granularity in worst reinforcement learning assessment, which can fill up a gap gap between whole state space and the certain sampled. Rewards. We employ AGNES to cluster the ground truth rewards and the IRL learned rewards respectively. Given the cluster number k, we can get the clustering results c and ce. Then we compute mutual information between these two clusterings. Measuring the amount of reward function one clustering offers to the other, which can be calculated as this formula. To facilitate the comparison, we scale MI by normalization. The normalized mutual information NMI between these two clustering can be calculated as this formula, which we call it NMI. Based on NMI, we explore the adversary attack based on AGNES clustering to determine target states for reward perception. Specifically, inspired by this work, we design a novel adversary attack which can solve the multi way clustering problem with mutual information based clustering similarity measurement. To further select the critical adversary state, we propose a novel algorithm for adversary state selecting. In this algorithm, lines eight to fifteen define the fact the function f, which we optimize over to find the parameter epsilon. In line sixteen, following the experiment, 
Perhaps in this work, we use CORS to minimize F subject to epsilon within the threshold of minus data and plus data. Finally, we output the adversary reward site and the corresponding critical adversary state site. Based on the adversary reward site and the corresponding critical adversary state site, we imply the intrinsic fear model to predict the probability of catastrophe, supporting to develop the adversary trajectories generation method. The intrinsic fear model is designed following this work. In our work, we simplify the intrinsic fear model as a penalizing term in the MDP target function. For a given MDP, we add the intrinsic fear to the target function to penalize the agent for entering catastrophic state, which can be represented as this formula. Uh, we propose algorithm 2 to generate minimum and non-catastrophic adversary trajectories based on the intrinsic fear model. We give the definitions of minimum and non-catastrophic as this. As algorithm 2 shows, from line 5 to line 16, we construct the danger and safe state site. Then from line 18 to line 19, we update the parameter theta f with mini batch. Finally, we generate the corresponding trajectory under this one, in which the critical adversary site SAI is taken as the initial one, tra traversing all the critical adversary states, and we finally obtain the MNC adversary trajectory site. And then is the experiment part for this paper. Firstly, we introduce the, ben the benchmark for this experiment. And this is the parameters of experiment platform of this paper. Uh, we list the CPU, RAM, GPU, and graphic memory and software uh, which used in this experiment. Um, for, for the baseline of this paper, we we list two baselines. The first one is the ILA for inverse reinforcement learning performance. We combine MRL and EVD to craft a baseline for the comparison with MI. We calculate the labels for algorithm A under the comparison with these two values. Then obtain the value of LEVD and LMRL. Finally, defining the baseline of inverse reinforcement learning performance as LA with function FBA, FBL, sorry, and this can be shown in table A. Then for the second baseline of this paper are the suboptimal and inward-based adversary trajectories. And to to abandon this, we we assume the closed loop with all possible policies under the sequence state space S and action space A. We randomly select a subspace which contains the optimal policy. Thus, the suboptimal policy can be calculated as this. We can also get the suboptimal based adversary trajectories with randomly sampled initial states. With the invert reverts, we can calculate the corresponding invert policy and adversary trajectories. For the evaluation matrix of this paper, we first define the assessing accuracy. Uh, we use this metric to evaluate the assessing accuracy of matrix. Given inverse reinforcement learning algorithm A, the matrix assessing accuracy can be calculated as this formula. And this table B is the definition of function FACC. We vary metric in range MRL, EVD, NMI, WS, uh, in which WS denotes the weighted sum metric of MRL and EVD. 
No start to assessing accuracy within the threshold of 0 to 1. The bigger assessing accuracy is, will rep represent better performance. For the second uh, metrics of this paper is the average NMI and uh, WS, uh, which can be calculated as this formula. And for the third metric of this paper, we calculate the average catastrophic state among different samples to evaluate the influence of adversary trajectory. Uh, we, which we can see that the bigger value indicates that there are more catastrophic states involved in adversary trajectory. Then is the um, experimental result of this paper. The first one is the assessing accuracy analysis of NMI. Um, the assessing accuracy of different metrics is summarized in Table 3. Taking MRL, EVD, NMI, and WS into consideration, NMI is able to offer a more accurate evaluation of IRL performance than all other metrics. And the performance on different cluster numbers is shown in Figure 4. It can be seen that the bigger K achieves a higher assessing accuracy, which indicates the finer granularity of reward clustering and that the NMI performs better on assessing the inverse reinforcement learning performance. When the cluster number is bigger than 8, NMI can achieve the optimal assessing accuracy. To verify the influence of cluster number Kc on the effectiveness of MNC adversary trajectories, we vary Kc in range 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and compare the performance of 7 state-of-the-art IRL algorithms. The results are shown in Finger 5. It can be seen that K when Kc equal to 5 is a good choice. Since MNC adversary trajectory can achieve the best performance under the evaluation of two metrics, as the cluster number Kc increases, the performance of MNC drops, which indicates that with the increase of Kc, the clustering attacking efficiency of adversary point may become worse. In order to verify this conjecture, we visualize the reward clusters under different KC for a case study. It can be seen from finger 6 and 7. There are two graphs for comparison. We can find that after perturbing the target point, the reward clusters change when KC equal to 3. Well, in finger 7, the clustering is almost the same when attacking different target points. These two fingers are the result. We can see that compared with suboptimal adversary trajectories, our MNC1 outperforms the suboptimal one with much fewer adversary trajectories. In addition, benefiting from the existence of the fear model, there are almost no catastrophic states in the MNC adversary trajectories. However, with the relatively high probability, suboptimal adversary trajectories may contain catastrophic states. Uh, in these two fingers show the comparison of adversary attack efficiency between of I our MNC and the invert one. Then we also analyze the transferability of our MNC and uh, across environment and inverse reinforcement learning algorithms, which can show that um, MNC has the uh, transferability across different environment. Finally, we can give the conclusion to this paper. 
um, ex expected to inspire a series of follow-up studies, including but not limited to. The first one is anti-IRL reinforcement lear learning algorithm, and the second one is more security uh, method for RL reward protection. That's all. Thank you for your watching.